Hey guys, if you saw the news uh, yesterday, it was announced that uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has been nominated to be the head of HHS, that's Health and Human Services. And uh, the person in control of that job controls the CDC, the FDA, uh, and the NIH, and a whole bunch of other things related to health in America. Um, he is the perfect man for the job. Uh, some of you understand that. Some of you uh, are clinging to, I don't know what you're clinging to, guys. I hope you get over it, whatever the disease is. Um, but those of you that understand the significance of it uh, know that this is a bit, this is a really big deal. Um, I have been working on this for years and years and years. And I, my, my system club members have heard me say it for over 10 years. We have the most corrupt health system in the world, uh, and it needs it desperately needs reform. So uh, for those of you that may be a little bit new, uh, and those of you that may not remember, it wasn't long ago then uh, that uh, Bobby Kennedy was uh, banned from Instagram, banned from Facebook, uh, what else did they do to him? They declared him the dirty dozen. And then he started working on a book and he got help from yours truly, uh, significant help, uh, not only in the writing of the book, uh, he, he expanded what was going to be one chapter to five chapters based on my input. That's the book, uh, The Real Anthony Fauci. But he also got my marketing help. And uh, when you look at the history, and we're going to have a chronology below, the turnaround in his career uh, was that book. Uh, and we did get it to number one. We kept it at number one. I kept it up there for many, many weeks until I had to go do other things. And literally the week I left is the week it fell off and never recovered. But in any event, that book was a major turning point and a major breakthrough for him. I, wanted, I want you to see the ad that I created that we ran on launch day. And then go down and read the, uh, the chronology below. And I have, a new, I have a book out myself called How the Web Won. Um, it's not a coincidence that these kinds of things happen uh, frequently uh, with people that I work with, uh, large and small. I mean, what's that? What's that? Uh, no job too large, no job too small. Uh, that's always been my attitude. So uh, check out the video, uh, check out the chronology, uh, and then check out the history of the web and why we have a World Wide Web and not a Bill Gates-dominated uh, computer uh, bulletin board. Thank you all very much for fighting.